Ever wondered how the keyboard, an essential tool in our daily lives, came into existence? Let's take a journey back in time to the 1800s, an era of discovery and innovation. The birth of the keyboard can be traced back to the invention of the typewriter, a device that was to revolutionize communication and the way we work. The typewriter was the brainchild of Christopher Latham Scholes, a Wisconsin newspaper editor and printer. Scholes was on a mission to construct a machine that could write mechanically, thereby increasing efficiency and productivity. His invention, patented in 1868, was the first to be commercially successful and is often credited as the earliest version of the modern keyboard. Scholes' typewriter had a keyboard layout known as the QWERTY, named after the first six letters on the top row of the alphabetic characters. This layout was designed to prevent mechanical jams by spacing out commonly used letters. This design was so efficient that it's still used in most keyboards today, over 150 years later. But Scholes was not alone in his quest. Other inventors like Frank Haven Hall, Samuel W. Soule, and Carlos Glidden also played pivotal roles in the development of the keyboard. Hall invented the first typewriter with a shift key, allowing for the use of uppercase and lowercase letters. Soule and Glidden, on the other hand, were instrumental in helping Scholes perfect his prototype. Interestingly, the early typewriters only printed capital letters. It was not until 1878 that the Remington Company, which was the first to mass-produce typewriters, introduced a model that could type both upper and lowercase letters. So the keyboard started with the humble typewriter, but how did we get from there to the modern keyboards we use today? With the dawn of the computing era, the keyboard saw its next big evolution. As the 40s and 50s rolled in, the world was introduced to the concept of computing, and with this, the humble keyboard found a new purpose to interact with these machines of the future. In these early days of computing, the keyboard was adapted from its use in typewriters to serve as an input device for computers. It was a time of experimentation and innovation, with manufacturers and engineers tinkering and toying with designs to find the most efficient and user-friendly layout. Enter the QWERTY layout, a design so successful that it's still in use today. The QWERTY layout was actually first created for typewriters in the late 19th century. Its design aimed to reduce the jamming of type bars by placing frequently used letters further apart. When keyboards were adapted for computers, this layout was carried over. But why was the QWERTY layout chosen for computers, you may wonder? Well, it was a matter of practicality and familiarity. At the time, typists were already trained in the QWERTY layout, so it made sense to maintain this arrangement to ease the transition. And as computers became more commonplace, so did the QWERTY layout. Yet, the QWERTY design was not without its critics. Some argued that the design was inefficient and led to slower typing speeds. This sparked a search for alternative layouts, such as the Dvorak Simplified Keyboard, which aimed to place the most commonly used keys under the strongest fingers. Despite these efforts, the QWERTY layout has stood the test of time, remaining the dominant keyboard layout to this day. As the computing era progressed, keyboards underwent further changes. The introduction of function keys and the numeric keypad, for instance, added new functionality and efficiency. But that's a story for another time. The computing era brought us the keyboard layout we're all familiar with, but it didn't stop there. As we'll see in our next scene, the keyboard continued to evolve and adapt as technology advanced, paving the way for the keyboards we use today. As computers became personal, so did keyboards. The 1980s and 1990s, the golden age of personal computers, saw a dramatic evolution of the keyboard. But what sparked this transformation? The answer lies in the rapidly changing world of technology. As computers became more accessible, more and more people were learning to type. The keyboard had to evolve to meet the growing demands of its users. And so, the function keys were introduced. Positioned at the top of the keyboard, these keys performed specific tasks in software programs, saving users valuable time and effort. The F1 key, for example, was commonly used to open a help menu, while F5 was often used to refresh a page. At the same time, 
the keyboard layout was being standardized. The QWERTY layout, named after the first six letters in the top row of letters, became the norm. This layout, which was originally designed to prevent typewriter keys from jamming, was now being used on keyboards across the globe. It was an interesting twist of fate that a design created for a completely different era was shaping the future of typing. The 1990s also saw the introduction of multimedia keys. These keys, which control functions such as volume and playback, were added to meet the growing multimedia needs of users. It was clear that the keyboard was no longer just a typing tool. It had become an integral part of the computing experience. As the decade closed, the keyboard had become a familiar sight in homes, schools, and workplaces. It was no longer a luxury, but a necessity. The keyboard had come a long way from its humble beginnings. It had evolved from a mechanical device to an electronic one, from a tool for professionals to a tool for everyone. With personal computers, keyboards became a standard part of our lives. But what about when we started to move away from traditional computers? As we moved into the 21st century, keyboards had to adapt to the rise of mobile devices. The turn of the century marked a significant shift in technology, with computers shrinking down to fit in our pockets. But this miniaturization posed a new challenge. How do you fit a keyboard on a device that's only a few inches wide? The solution was to do away with physical keys altogether and introduce the virtual keyboard. This was a keyboard rendered on the device's touchscreen, allowing users to type by tapping on the screen. It was a novel idea, but not without its own set of challenges. The lack of tactile feedback that physical keys provided was a significant hurdle. Users found it hard to type without feeling the keys under their fingers. In response, tech companies developed various solutions. Some introduced a slight vibration or haptic feedback each time a key was pressed, simulating the feeling of pressing a physical key. Others focused on predictive text and autocorrect features to help users type faster and more accurately. As smartphones became more prevalent, the virtual keyboard continued to evolve. It became more customizable, allowing users to change the layout, size, and even the color of their keyboard. This was a stark contrast to the standard uniform keyboards of desktop computers. Now, each user could have a keyboard that was uniquely theirs. Another significant development was the introduction of voice-to-text technology. This allowed users to dictate their messages, bypassing the keyboard entirely. It was a game-changer, particularly for those with accessibility needs. Now, keyboards are not just physical tools, but virtual ones as well. But what's next for the keyboard? With the rise of augmented and virtual reality, the concept of the keyboard may change yet again. Perhaps future keyboards won't even require us to use our hands. The only certainty is that keyboards, like technology itself, will continue to evolve. As we look to the future, the keyboard is set to evolve once again. The technological advancements of our time are shaping the way we interact with our devices, and the humble keyboard is no exception. Consider the integration of artificial intelligence, or AI. AI has the potential to transform keyboards from simple input devices into intelligent tools that predict what we're going to type before we even start. Imagine a keyboard that learns from your typing patterns, understands your preferences, and even corrects your mistakes in real time. It's like having a personal assistant right at your fingertips, making your interactions seamless and efficient. Voice recognition technology is another game changer. We've already seen voice assistants like Siri and Alexa revolutionizing the way we interact with our devices. In the future, we might not even need to touch our keyboards to type. We'll simply speak and our words will appear on the screen. This opens up new possibilities for accessibility, allowing people with physical impairments or those who simply prefer speaking over typing to engage with their devices in a whole new way. Gesture control is yet another exciting development on the horizon. With the advent of virtual and augmented reality, the keyboard of the future might not be a physical device at all. Instead, we could be typing in thin air, using our fingers to create letters and words. It's a concept straight out of a science fiction movie, but with the pace of technological advancement, it's not as far-fetched as it might seem. 
The potential impact of these technologies on how we interact with devices is profound. They promise to make our interactions more intuitive, more efficient, and more inclusive. As we move into this brave new world, it's clear that the keyboard is more than just a tool for inputting data. It's a gateway to our digital lives. The keyboard has come a long way since the typewriter, and it's clear that its evolution is far from over. Let's take a moment to recap the key points we've discussed. Our journey began with the invention of the typewriter in the late 19th century, a game-changer that marked the birth of keyboards. This mechanical marvel revolutionized communication, making writing faster and more accessible. Then, we transitioned to the era of computing. In the mid-20th century, keyboards adapted to serve these new digital machines. They became the primary interface, bridging the gap between humans and computers. This shift was a significant milestone, marking the keyboard's evolution from a purely mechanical device to an essential component of digital technology. Next, we advanced into the age of personal computers. During this era, the keyboard layout was standardized, with the QWERTY format becoming the norm. This standardization was crucial, as it provided consistency across devices, making it easier for users to adapt and improve their typing skills. Our journey then led us to the advent of mobile devices. Here the physical keyboard was replaced by virtual ones, enabling us to type on touchscreens. This transformation was a testament to the keyboard's adaptability, its ability to evolve with changing technology and user needs. Finally, we peeked into the future of keyboards. We discussed potential developments like holographic or voice-activated keyboards. These innovations could further revolutionize how we interact with our devices, pushing the boundaries of what's possible. In essence, the history of the keyboard is a story of constant evolution and adaptation. It's a tale of how a simple device has transformed over the years, shaping and being shaped by technological advancements. From mechanical typewriters to virtual touchscreens, keyboards have come a long way. But as we've seen, the keyboard's journey doesn't end here. As technology continues to evolve, so too will the keyboard. It will adapt to new environments, meet new needs, and continue to be an essential part of our interaction with technology. Who knows what the keyboard of the future will look like? We've journeyed through the evolution of the keyboard, from its humble beginnings to the possibilities of the future. It's been a fascinating ride, hasn't it? From the mechanical clatter of typewriters to the silent tap of touchscreens, the keyboard has come a long way. And it's not just about the technology, it's about how these changes have shaped our communication, our work, and our lives. So what are your thoughts on this journey? Do you have a favorite era of keyboard history? Or perhaps you have a prediction for what the future holds? We'd love to hear from you. Share your thoughts, your stories, your predictions. Let's keep this conversation going. And if you've enjoyed this exploration, show your support. Click that like button, share this video with fellow tech enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel. We've got plenty more historical deep dives coming your way. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of keyboards. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fascinating explorations into the world of technology.